Saucy Sun sends New Jersey pizzeria into the stratosphere with tasty TikToks. This is something that is very interesting. I know who this is. I've seen him on TikTok. He has a ton of followers on there. He's been doing these TikToks forever. And he has a small pizzeria in New Jersey. And he does these TikToks where he kind of just, you'll see. Well, you know what? Let me show you. Here we go. I'm going to hide my camera here. And I'm going to show you these TikToks. We're going to hit play how he does this. <laughs> TikTok, good morning. The Yankees beat the Athletics yesterday. We had a great time at the game. But now we're... So he's on TikTok in New Jersey. He's a 25-year-old, Salvatore Mandriucci. Uh, he works at his family's pizzeria, but he does these TikToks every single day. And his content is on TikTok only. Now he does repurpose them for Instagram, but he's pretty engaging on TikTok and he has a real lot of followers. And he's only 25 years old. So when people ask me, does TikTok help your business? Uh, it can help your business for sure. And he gets people who travel to his location just to see him from TikTok. Now, this is one of the videos right here. Uh, let's read a little bit about this. My dad's been the biggest supporter. Every day, we have people stopping in from different states. He continued, nothing that his TikTok fame has been great for Mariucci's. Marcelo is located in a strip mall in Hamilton Square. California, Texas, Florida, they're doing something else in the area and they stop by. So they find him on TikTok. They see him and follow him. And then when they're in the area, they stop by. And we talk about that all the time. That's exactly what you should do with TikTok. You know, a lot of people say, oh, TikTok isn't a place for my business because there's people and followers from all over the place. But if you're in an area where people go visit, then they see you on TikTok. They're going to stop in and say hello. Let's go back to this article here. And this is obviously taking picture with people who visit him from TikTok. Uh, my dad's been my biggest supporter. It certainly helps that the Mandriucci, I hope that's how you say that, is both tall and cute. Well, I guess that's subjective. He brings the mind a bright-eyed Ray Liotta at the beginning of Goodfellas or a younger, kinder Nicolas Cage. Uh, <laughs> uh, sauce up my pizza time, reads one. So he has a lot of followers in there and he has a lot of people who are commenting in, in asking him questions. And he does a great job of engaging as well. This is one question. So quick question, other than pizza, what's your favorite food? Uh, and he does this all the time. He does these live Q and A's where he just answers questions from people who have submitted them through TikTok. While he considers himself a pizza maker first, he is also already expanding his footprint beyond Marcelo's. He's selling merchandise branded with Sally's Slices logo on his website and has an account acoustic ballad on Spotify called A Man's Mind. It's about 60,000 plays. Eventually, he hopes to parlay his TikTok success into a film career. And while that will certainly take him far away from his family pizzeria, it's a dream his parents support. My parents are all in. They want me to do what I love. And I believe that's important as well, doing what you love. So if you want to follow Sally Slices on TikTok, I suggest you do that. Now, I don't know if you will have the same success that he has on TikTok, but you can definitely emulate something. And the one thing that he does that people can do is incorporate your personality into your TikToks. And he does that very well. And you can see that he's not trying to be somebody else. Well, maybe he is. He does want to be an actor. So you never know. Maybe he's completely acting. But it seems like he's very personable, very easy, easy to like, and he engages with his community. So if you are going to go to TikTok, remember that. There's too many people out there who use TikTok as a business, you know, and you should use it for business. I'm not saying that. But what they do is they just sell too much on there and they're too corporate sounding, even if they're not a corporation or a large business. If you are a mom, pa, let your personality in, into your marketing. That's going to make people want to choose you and want to follow you. Nobody wants to follow a boring social media account. So use this as an example. I'll link up his TikTok in the comments below. And also this article right here from the New York Post, which you can uh, go check out and read and listen to yourself. All right, that's it for me. We'll see you right back here next time.